Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. In this video, I want to show you a neural filter that's actually built into Photoshop um, that is a really good filter for creating depth in your images. You used to have to do this technique uh, manually by creating layer mask and blurring an image and all that stuff, but this can, this can be done uh, directly through the neural filters uh, menu in Photoshop. So if you have the latest version of Photoshop, you should definitely have this available to you. All you may have to do is download that extension of it, and then you should be good to go. If you're not sure what neural filters are, they're actually kind of uh, uh, AI filters that are being built into Photoshop that will uh, allow you to do a variety of things. So let's just go quickly look at them here. So we're in Photoshop. I'm going to click on filter and then go to neural filters. Uh, and here is going to be the list over here of the neural filters. Uh, we have the uh, all filters view here, and this shows the featured filters, which are uh, more or less uh, finalized filters. And then you have the beta filters down here, and we're going to see the one that says depth blur. So we're going to click on this. If you happen to see, like this one here is called Smart Portrait. If you happen to see a little cloud icon right there, just click download and it'll download it to your uh, to your menu and you can feel free to use it after that. So we're going to concentrate on the depth blur here. So I'm going to click right here. And what this is going to do is basically like look at my image and see where it needs to be, uh, where the subject is of the image and where it can blur. So I'm going to toggle this on here. And because it recognizes that there is a subject, a main subject in the in the image, you can see down here it says processing on device. So it's processing the image, looking at it to see what it can blur. And you can see it did a real quick blur, like a bokeh effect to your image. So uh, if you want to uh, toggle this off, you can do that. And you can go over the image here and you can actually tell Photoshop where you want it to focus. So if for some reason I wanted it to focus in behind the person and blur out him, I can do that, but obviously we want to concentrate on the subject. So I'm going to click on his face, and it's going to uh, you know, do a quick little render there. But now we have the focal range. So uh, down here at the bottom on uh, zero right here, the focal range is actually how much you want it to be uh, focusing uh, either behind or uh, behind and in front of the subject. So uh, right now we want it to be just focused on the subject. If we were to take this up all the way to 100, it's going to be basically like replicating a very high aperture. Uh, so we don't want that. We actually want this to blur out everything but the subject. So there we go. Now we can actually add blur strength. We can take down the blur strength. We can do all the way to 100, which is what we're going to do in this image. And you can see it really creates a nice bokeh effect. You can also play with other settings here like the, uh, the, the haze. You can add some haze. You can add some saturation, brightness, all that fun stuff. Uh, but we're just going to use it for the... Uh, the uh, blurring the effect that we really like. So after we've done that, we can go ahead and just export this out to a new layer. We're gonna click OK. And now that we've done that, that is our final image. So we basically replicated a blurring effect to our subject. So this was the before, and then this was after. Not too shabby for having a filter do it all for you without you having to mask out anything. So if you wanna play around with that filter, again, go to Filter and then Neural Filters, and then you can see all the cool filters that they have there and you can play with them and uh, and see how they work with your images. So uh, thank you for joining me in this tutorial. This is Jordan from Sleek Lens. I'll see you in the next one.